Hey everybody, this is Dr. Bridget Young from Baby Formula Expert doing my very first Facebook Live. I'm totally terrified, this is very scary. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to start doing this once a week if possible to answer questions that I have from moms um, about their formula and what formula they should choose. I have a 20 month old and a 4 month old, thank God my mom is here at the moment, but you're probably going to see them coming through. Uh, just try to roll your eyes and, and bear with me. Um, it is Saturday night. I am having a glass of wine. I very much invite you to do the same and join me. So since this is the first time, I wanted to answer a question that I get from moms a lot. And then you guys are welcome to add questions to the video or to the comments after it goes on the Facebook page, and I'll continue to answer them every week. So. One question I get from moms that I work with as clients all the time is, um, so you, Dr. Young, recommend a partially hydrolyzed formula. What's the difference between partially and fully hydrolyzed, and why is one better than the other? So to break that down, I recommend a partially hydrolyzed formula. You know what? Let me back it up because I have props here. I'm, I'm so prepared. Um, I have props, and I want to explain to you what is a partially hydrolyzed formula? Um, it's a fancy word that scientists like to use to make themselves sound smarter. Um, and it really just means broken down or pre-digested. So if you are feeding just a standard formula, um, this, I told you, I have an 18-month-old, 20-month-old, 20 now, month-old boy, so we have a lot, a lot of Legos. This would be like a protein molecule in a standard formula or protein in any food you eat. It's built up of individual amino acids, and it's this complex structure, and your digestive tract is very able to handle breaking it down. <laughs> Can you hear him? <laughs> so when we talk about a partially hydrolyzed formula, or partially hydrolyzed, it's the protein in the formula that's partially hydrolyzed. It's broken down a little bit, so your proteins are smaller sized, so they're easier to digest. Breast milk naturally does this. Humans make breast milk with smaller proteins that are easier for a baby to digest as babies' intestines are still kind of learning how to digest food. Now, there's partially hydrolyzed, and then there's fully hydrolyzed. And as you can imagine, fully hydrolyzed is just broken down even smaller, even smaller sized proteins that are even less complicated. And then you've probably heard of amino acid-based protein formulas, and these are formulas for babies with really um, severe digestive issues, in, you know, severe cases of reflux um, or severe allergy, and those are, they're not even proteins, they're just the base amino acids in the formula, and if you're using one of these, you know they're extremely expensive. I recommend a partially hydrolyzed, which is that first step of pre-digested. So you still have some kind of big molecules of protein, so the infant is still able to learn how to digest. They're similar in size to the proteins that are in breast milk. And mostly, for babies, if your baby's under six months, I recommend partially hydrolyzed because there's a lot of really good quality research out there to suggest that partially hydrolyzed protein um, prevents development of allergy and other autoimmune diseases. So you develop an allergy or an autoimmune response when the immune system attacks a foreign body and thinks it's an invader. I know this is really awesome when it's a virus or something and it really is an invader, but when it's just a protein, that's when you develop an allergy or then that can lead to other autoimmune diseases. So feeding a partially hydrolyzed formula helps prevent that from happening in babies so if baby's under six months old, so he hasn't had any solid food yet, we don't want to expose him to potentially allergenic proteins. If you have a family history of type 1 diabetes, which is an autoimmune disease, or food allergy, I'd recommend continuing with a partially hydrolyzed formula even after six months of age. And that's because we have good research to suggest that doing so helps prevent your baby from developing an autoimmune disease or an allergy, and hey, let's let's do that if we can. Um, so that's the most common question I get when I tell moms 
go for a partially hydrolyzed formula if your baby's six months or under. So I hope that helps clear up a little confusion about all the complicated words on the back of the formula. I know you guys probably have a lot more questions, so leave them in the comments or send me a message and or head over to babyformulaexpert.com and you can leave a message there and I'll just start rolling through and hopefully I can help clear up some of the confusion out there so you feel really comfortable about what you're feeding your baby. Okay, thanks so much and I'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Bye.